real, rational and irrational numbers. Mental maths. This is going to take approximately 10 minutes. Use a piece of paper and a pen so you can do the calculations. Times tables. 4 times 12 is equal to 48. 8 times 7 is equal to 56. Addition. 55 plus 17 is equal to 72. Subtraction. 94 minus 78 is equal to 16. Division. 11 divided by 11 is equal to 1. Decimal addition. 5,1 plus 6 is equal to 11,1. Decimal subtraction. 8,1 minus 3,3 .3 is equal to 4,8. Decimal multiplication. 0, 0,6 times 0, 0,022 is equal to 0, 0,0132. Square numbers. The square of 2, which also means it's 2 to the power of 2, which means it's 2 times 2, is equal to 4. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. Cube numbers. The cube of 2, which means it's 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2, and that is equal to 8. Cube root. The cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Fraction addition. 3 over 16 plus 3 over 4 is equal to. Now you're not allowed to add because you have to find the lowest common multiple. It's the bottom part of my fraction. They must be the same. And you have to convert your second fraction, 3 over 4, to 12 over 16. You do this by multiplying the top part of our fraction with exactly the same number as the bottom part. Fraction subtraction, 2 over 3 minus 4 over 6 is equal to, again you're not allowed to uh, subtract, you have to find the lowest common multiple. It's the bottom part of my fraction, and in this subtraction sum it's 6. So 2 over 3 you have to convert to 4 over 6, and you multiply the top part of our fraction with exactly the same number as the bottom part. Fraction multiplication, 8 over 10 multiplied by 4 over 20 is equal to 32 over 200. You multiply the top part of your fraction, 8 times 4 is equal to 32, and 10 times 20 is equal to 200. And this is equal to 4 over 25, the simplest form of our fraction. Natural numbers. Natural numbers are greater than or equal to 1. But what happens if we subtract 1 from 1? The answer is equal to 0. So we need another set of numbers which includes 0. The whole numbers. Whole numbers, they are all the natural numbers and also it includes 0. But what will happen if we subtract 4 from 2? The answer is negative 2. So we need another set of numbers. The integers. Integers is a positive or a negative whole number or zero. Next to our headings, you will see there's the symbols for natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. Irrational numbers cannot be written in the form of a rational number. It is a fraction or a ratio. 
Rational numbers can be written in a divided by b form, which is a fraction form. Just remember, a and b cannot be equal to 0, because we cannot divide by 0. What happens if you divide, for example, 6 by 0? On your calculator, it will say math error, which means it's undefined. Real numbers, all rational and irrational numbers. Again, we look at the symbols of our irrational numbers, rational and real numbers. Here we have a diagram of all our real numbers, right in the middle is the natural numbers. Then we have the whole numbers, integers, which also includes the negative numbers, rational numbers, all our fractions and our decimals, and real numbers includes all the irrational numbers and the rational numbers.